But I do want to, you know, head on over to Evo's Legends side now, as we are going to be talking about Zace, who has a few words to say. This roster is much stronger than the world roster. The world roster obviously containing of one Aura, Rekt, Luminaire, and Donkey, the roster that won the M1 World Championship. So that is a bold, bold statement, but it's coming from the coach, literally the same coach that coached the world roster in season four all the way to the world championship glory. But there's also another comment that he made on stream, Zayce. Mm -hmm. He said that Pendragon, the reason why he's playing Pendragon, starting him over Dalar, is because Pendragon is smarter than Dalar. Well, in what way? It could be. Well, he did say, smarter doesn't only mean macro. Game knowledge, in terms oh. of game knowledge, Pendragon is smarter. Well, that's a, that's okay. what that's the aspect a lot of people overlook. The fact that they think it's all mechanics, right? But no, the the, the knowledge of like items, the knowledge yes, of lane matchups, the is. knowledge of macro play, the I don't know, the composition knowledge, knowing like what to do in situations, you know, going for front to backs, going for dives. So all you know, that's the, the huge death in Mobile Legends in the mantle side that a lot of people seem to overlook, that a lot of people don't really think about, but that is exactly what we like talking about on the desk. That's a, you know, it's a big argument, right? It's a, it's a big debate for uh, especially yeah. everyone in the chat, everyone in the comment section. I did see a few of the comments after Zayce said that uh, on a stream. A lot of people, well, most people actually disagree with him, right? Especially the Filipinos because they're like, Lara, he's a legend, the general. The man has been proving himself. Well, he doesn't even need to prove himself anymore. He has proven himself going all the way to the grand finals of the M3 World Championships. Grand Finals of the MPL, MPLPH a couple of times, um, mostly uh, Season 8 in the Grand Finals against Blacklist. But again, it all comes down to the current performance, right? You can't have all the achievements in the world. Right now, though, how the coach sees it, how the analyst sees the players is very different from, from us, even as casters, because we're looking at it at surface level. Right? Speculating How are well. they performing right now on stage? For me, it does seem like, you know, Delora has a lot of good traits that we saw in the victory against GeekFam. But since then, when Pendragon stepped up, they won against RQ. Yeah, you cannot argue yeah. with the results, man. I think at the very least, you can say that Pendragon has an impact as well. So it all comes down to the coach and his preference, right? Because again, it's not only about the player. It's how the player can fit in with the strategies that the coach can think of. Exactly. So it's yeah. all about how it ties in together, not only about all these individuals.